Hello everyone, it's Double A here. Today I'm going to show you how to tune an FM audio subcarrier and decode RDS data using SDR Sharp software in an RTL SDR USB stick. Now, if you've already done the initial setup, uh, you can skip ahead in this video using the chapters. So the first thing you want to do is click the link in the description, the first link, and follow the steps to set up your RTL SDR USB stick if you haven't already done this. So you'll need to install the .NET 5.0 runtime. And you'll need to download the AirSpy software suite. And you want the software defined radio package. Click download and save it, of course. Now you're going to want to open your download folder and extract the SDR Sharp zip folder. And you want to run the install RTL SDR.bat file. And you'll want to run as administrator, right click and run as administrator, zdig.exe. And go to options, click list all devices. Click the drop down and select bulk in interface, parentheses, interface zero. Now I already have the driver installed, but um, if you're just starting out, you won't. Um, check to make sure this USB ID matches. If you're using an RTL SDR USB stick, and check that you're installing the WinUSB driver and um, click that button. It might just say install driver if it's not already installed. Or it might say replace driver if, you if Windows automatically installed some other driver, which can happen. Now open sdrsharp.exe and Windows might try to block it the first time you get to run it. You can just click more info and run anyway. And we're going to click the hamburger menu, click zoom FFT, and then enable MPX, the FM multiplex, and enable audio. And under source, click the source selection box and select RTL SDR USB. Of course, if that's what you're using. And uh, then click the play button. And you're probably going to need some gain to actually be able to tune FM stations. And you can always adjust this a bit. Um, some closer stations work better with less gain. Further away stations need more gain, but if you crank it too much, you'll kind of wipe everything out with noise, so just requires some fine tuning. And so I'm going to tune to 89.5, that's a radio station in my area that has a uh, subcarrier. So what I'm circling with the mouse right now is the baseband audio. This at 19 kilohertz is the stereo pilot. Here is the actual stereo difference channel, centered at 36. There is the RDS subcarrier at 57. And there, which isn't normally there, that is the secondary audio service. It's actually an FM signal embedded within an FM signal. So the objective is we want to try to listen to that. All right, so um, I've linked this video in the description. Um, but we're going to follow the steps in here. And we're going to install MPX output. So save the zip folder to your downloads. And extract it. Now, you're going to want to copy the SDR Sharp Output MPX DLL to the SDR Sharp folder. And then you also want to get this magic line.txt. 
and then copy this line of XML code. Open plugins.xml. Make sure you right click open with notepad and then add that line right there where I've shown, right bef before the um, last line. Now open SDR sharp. Dot exe again. And when you go to the hamburger menu, you should see MPX output. And we open that up. So because we have an FM signal embedded within an FM signal, we're going to feed the MPX output from one instance of SDR Sharp into another instance of SDR Sharp. And for that, we need the VB Audio Hi-Fi Cable and ACO Bridge. So download that and save the zip folder. And you're going to want to right click and extract all for that zip folder and run the setup executable and install. Now after the installation you're going to have to reboot your computer so let's go ahead and do that. And once you're back you're going to right click the speaker, click sounds, go to playback, you might need to scroll down until you find hi-fi cable input, click properties, advance, and set it to 24-bit 192,000 Hertz. Click Apply and OK. Next you're going to go to Recording, Hi-Fi Cable Output, Properties, Advanced, and set it to 2 channel 24-bit 192,000 Hertz. Apply, OK. Now you're going to go back to your Downloads folder Open up the SDR Sharp 86 folder you extracted. Run SDR Sharp. And you're going to want to click wrote the play. Book about John Wesley Powell, now we can hear the regular a radio station. scientist and explorer who'd been over the American West somebody else who said this whole idea of developing the West. I'm this going to go ahead and mute it for now. Now under MPX output, select Windows Direct Sound Hi-Fi Cable Input, and then check the box to enable the MPX output. Now you're going to want to launch a second instance of SDR Sharp, keeping the first instance running. Go to the hamburger menu, source, and set your source to baseband from sound card. Next, you're going to want to go to the hamburger menu again, click audio, and then set your input to Windows Direct Sound Hi-Fi Cable, and your sample rate to 192,000 samples per second, and click play. And now, I know this subcarrier is at 67 kilohertz from listening to it before, but you want to center your frequency on the subcarrier and adjust the bandwidth. And now what we're hearing is a radio reading service. This is a service for blind people. And um, On their way home to Europe, they stopped over things like books, newspaper articles are read out on this service. Special radios are given to people who, who are eligible for the program. But with a little bit of know-how and finagling, you can listen uh, to it yourself. Uh, Here's uh, the normal station uh, again. Oklahoma, Kansas, up to Dakotas to Canada. This is the 100th Meridian. And he said... And there's the hidden audio subcarrier embedded in that radio station. The adventurous life that I knew she had. 
the couple liked Thrain and enjoyed the happy atmosphere that Now, the audio phones. quality here isn't great. Indeed, the and many radio stations are dropping their subcarriers and Burl switching to a format like a that's delivered via the internet. These subcarriers have been used for many years, including at one point to deliver in-store music and also to deliver horse racing results to gambling venues. I find it quite neat that you can basically hide a second audio feed within an FM radio station and um, you know only people with a special tuner can pick it up or now with software to find radio anyone can listen to these subcarriers. So the next thing we're going to do is decode the RDS data from a radio station. RDS stands for Radio Data System. It's also known as RBDS or Radio Broadcast Data System in the United States. But the two formats are very similar and besides a few minor discrepancies are compatible with each other. So first we're going to download a software called RDS Spy linked in the description. And we're going to want to save that. And run the installer. And go ahead and launch it. Now, I had this set up previously, but you'll probably have to go to Configure, Select RDS Source, make sure you're in the Sound Card tab, and then select Hi-Fi Cable Output as your input audio device. And make sure Direct RDS slash NPX is selected and click OK. And now, RDS Spy can decode all that data that's in that subcarrier that was at 57 kilohertz. Now, most radio stations don't use an, an audio subcarrier like I just showed you, but most do use RDS. And most radio stations use this to transmit the song name as well as the station name. Now, this being a talk program, there's not a song name here. But that's how you decode FM audio subcarriers and RDS data with an RTL SDR USB stick. Thanks for watching.